Hi guys, welcome back to our Laravel series. And in previous video, we did this little, uh, you know, validation and showing error. Now in this video, we are going to uh, if uh, do that. If if our prog is created, we wanna, you know, uh, it will automatically redirect here, and we wanna show here a uh, prog is created uh, in green color like it was in red. That error was all right. And also we wanna, you know, uh, have this data. Uh, if let's say we do that, uh, so when error comes, the form that uh, automatically, you know, gets gets removed. So let's let's have solution for it at first, all right? Uh, this is a form uh, we have in you know, uh, in our prox create. Uh, let's go there prox create, and we will say here, yeah, uh, here input type name. We'll just give a uh, value and we'll say uh, and we'll say old and nothing but its name old title all right and and let's let's do that for you know our price too and let's do old price all right and uh, let's do this for actually it has value all right and we can do that too but let's see at first okay it says your we had something error in form yeah this closing all right now let's your face so now let's let's have a title let's say let's say um bag all right let's say bags actually okay now you can see the price will require but this see this is not gone let's uh let's remove this and have price let's say this Submit and see 555 is not gone. And now let's have back. Let's have both all of them and let's submit and see there is back. All right. Now, now we wanna after the product is created, we wanna show here a flash message. So let's go to our you know um bootstrap um bootstrap and search for uh you know search for yeah alert okay go in documentation let's go and alerts we want to have success alert so success this is uh so uh when we when do we want to you know uh show that success message after the product is created not before but after uh so we'll we'll say uh in the store after the product is created um, before redirection is um, done we're gonna say this all right and this will be title all right so it is saying uh using session uh it'll flash a message um uh, actually this message yeah message uh it will take input title which is you know input title input title which is we have input in form and it's a input title whatever like the tb successfully saved okay like that uh okay after doing that we'll go to our master blade and we want to show that also here so let's copy this uh nothing much but similar all right uh, they are similar so we want to say uh if session maybe message and we want to show session message. Let's let's try. I think I have done some mistake. Undefined variable session. And um, variable session. All right. Session flash message. maybe <coughs> oh mm, for it uh, i don't think we need for it let's first try to do this yeah and is it variable or what it isn't variable actually 
uh, use of undefined concentration, assume session. What is this? Uh, wait for a while. Uh, so we want to copy this and paste it here. All right, and for this time we'll say session and exists exists message. If session message exists, uh, we don't need this loop. Uh, in success, you know, green color, we'll say session message, all right? Session. Message, all right? Let's, let's go save and refresh. What was that? All right. Actually, let's have, um, what? Let's say books books all right and price will be five thousand let's do that and we don't have actually let's do that and yeah see here books successfully set all right that's how we can show our session uh, message or flash message okay and it will be gone if we refresh the page so that's how we can do that okay uh, and also we can do after we delete okay okay let's do that uh, also after editing you know uh, let's go to controller and we'll just copy this. Let's let's actually paste in update. Okay, after it is updated, saved, we'll say successfully updated. Let's do. Uh, let's say. Let's try that. Okay. Let's let's go to edit of Titan Watch. Uh, let's say Titan Watch one. Let's submit it. Now you can see Titan Watch one successfully updated. Okay, with updated value here. All right. And now let's 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 go and uh before after deleting let's say that again okay after deleting we want to say this all right uh the system flash and mesh is fully deleted <laughs> successfully yeah <laughs> so let's delete titan watch undefined oh so it will not be on uh input because this is not input we'll say Mm, let's say uh, dollar product title maybe let's let's try um, yeah let's do that let's try delete on null so after it is deleted I don't think uh, it will be done let's just say you know product deleted what is that it was already deleted all right let's delete this yeah uh let's actually try that too all right let's refresh wall watch so it will not do because it is already deleted all right so let's 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 have that back back again all right now let's do everything from first okay let's say uh what let's say sofa and we'll say price this and furniture some meat and we'll try to delete this so you can see uh, it is successfully saved you can edit and see that message again updated and delete yeah very good so we we have done this maybe in next video we'll update our model uh, migration and up, upload you know images all right uh you can now you can do for you know your category uh you can go and do editing deleting you know updating your and showing errors errors it, it, it's easy you know you can just validate and also you can have flash messages and like that things okay it's kind of cool stuff okay the more you try the more you become master of your you know what they say sip or whatever okay so that's all for this video guys hope you enjoy the video